Drafts provides an easy way to get text files into Dropbox. So let me show you. I'm going to open Drafts, and then I'm going to go down to the settings. And as I scroll down through the settings, you'll see Configure Accounts. I'll go ahead and tap on that and link it to my Dropbox account. Now it's linked to Dropbox, so I can go in Drafts and start creating a new text file. Once I'm done, I'll tap on the Drafts button in the upper right corner and go over to Services. And you can see I've got this action here for Save to Dropbox. Now before I tap that, I want to show you a few details. I'm going to swipe over and tap the Edit button. And then I'm going to show you the action. And you can see this is the Dropbox action. And you can identify the file name, the extension, and even the path. And I've created a folder on my Dropbox called Drafts. So I'm going to make it the save location that folder. I'll go ahead and click Save, Action, and then Done. And now I will click Save to Dropbox. Now that I've done that, it just saved a text file to Dropbox. So let's go see that. I'm going to open my Dropbox, and you can see there I'm in my Drafts folder in Dropbox. If I tap on that, it shows you the text I just typed in Drafts. So just like that, I can type anything in Drafts and save it to Dropbox. Drafts also has the ability to append Drafts text to an existing text file in Dropbox. So let me show you that one. I'm going to open Drafts and type in a file. Here are my first thoughts. I'll go ahead and hit the Drafts icon button and say Append to Monthly Journal. And it's just saved it. Now I'm going to create a new draft, and I'll call this my second thoughts. And I will append that as well to the monthly journal. When I'm done, I'll go back over to Dropbox. And you'll see there's the journal text file. I'll open it up. And you'll see there are two separate entries there, each with a date stamp. There simply is no better way to put text files into Dropbox than using drafts. Thank you.